Hi, my name is Sophia Annabelle and I'm a student at Thorne Middle School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Service. Sacrifice. Courage. Bravery. Protect. Honor. Peace. Freedom. Pride. Strength. Duty. Happy Veterans Day to our soldiers, both past and present. Thank you for everything you sacrificed for our freedom. Today, we salute you. Thank you to all of our servicemen and women. Hello, I'm Shannon Smith, principal of Thorne Middle School. During this time of year, we celebrate our esteemed veterans who have selflessly served our nation. Some of these valiant men and women served locally and some abroad. No matter the location, the impact they had has produced ripple effects that preserve and guarantee our freedoms. We wholeheartedly honor them for their sacrifices, which have perpetuated the vital force we call the United States of America. In Middletown, we believe in serving others, and this concept of commitment is one we strive to embody. Though we may not have all served in the military, we, as members of this community, have the opportunity to serve our peers and colleagues. As we reflect on the larger concept of dedicated service, let's zoom back in and discuss how this particular area of Middletown has historically been positively affected by those who forged hazardous roads and paved the way. Our Thorne students have a lifelong connection with veterans. Corporal Horace Marvin Bud Thorne, our school's namesake, was born in Keensburg in 1918. Corporal Thorne grew up in Port Monmouth, just an ordinary farm boy. He joined the army in early 1941 and soon found himself battling the Germans during World War II. On December 21st, 1944, during the Battle of the Bulge, Corporal Thorne gave his life for his nation and the cause of freedom everywhere. For his selfless act of heroism, Corporal Thorne was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor, our nation's highest military decoration. In honor of his legacy, all eighth graders participate in Medal of Honor Monday lessons, studying the lives of other Medal of Honor recipients and learning the core values of courage, commitment, and citizenship, and how they too can exemplify these even in their own lives. In addition to Corporal Thorne, our students learn about Thorne alum, Lieutenant Dennis Linsky. Lieutenant Zelensky graduated from Thorne in 1996, followed by CBA and the United States Military Academy at West Point in 2004. In November of 2005, Lieutenant Zelensky was killed in action while serving in Iraq. Our students learn about his life and honor his legacy by supporting Lieutenant Dennis W. Zelensky II Memorial Fund each year with a care package drive for active service members across the globe. It is our hope that the legacy of these two great Americans continue to inspire future generations of Thorin students to strive each day to uphold the values so important to these men and our nation. Good day to the Thorin School community and the Middletown Public School community at large. The American nation pauses on November 11th to recognize the tremendous accomplishments, selfless service, and personal sacrifice made by all American veterans. The roots of this American holiday stretch back to Armistice Day, which was the formal cessation of hostilities after World War I. There has been a treasured history of the American veteran that deserves to be celebrated, from our first colonial Minutemen militias who faced monumental and insurmountable odds fighting for a very freedom against British colonial rule, to our World War I doughboys fighting in the horrid trench conditions, to our greatest generation of World War II service members fighting against the tyrannical empires of Imperial Japan and Nazi Germany. We cannot forget the veterans of the Korean War and of course the veterans of our Vietnam conflict. Today we have the privilege, duty, and honor of welcoming home the veterans of the Gulf War and most recently the veterans of the global war on terrorism. Today the United States has over 2.2 million troops valiantly serving our United States military on a daily basis by sworn oath to pledge to defend and support the Constitution of the United States. What links these remarkable men and women is their desire to be bigger than something than themselves, a sacrifice that transcends time and place and enters them into an elite brotherhood and sisterhood of service. These American veterans have paid such a high cost before the altar of freedom, and we never can truly thank them enough for their service. Perhaps the best way for us to honor the American veteran is to become involved in our own communities and use our skills, time, and resources to give back in our own way. Unfortunately, we continue to see a volatile geopolitical landscape 
that threatens the liberty and freedom for peace-loving people of the world. As we look upon this unpredictable global stage, we must give thanks and appreciation that there remain men and women watching guards so that we may enjoy our freedoms. The world depends on the unshakable resolve of the American veteran to help navigate these challenges toward a more peaceful global existence. On November 11th, we collectively say thank you for your service while honoring the past and present Americans serving our exceptional country.
As the principal of Thorne Middle School, I must acknowledge the unique distinction that our particular school proudly wears in its name. We are the only school in New Jersey proudly named after a Medal of Honor recipient, Corporal Horace Marvin Bud Thorne. Every student who has and will walk through these halls possesses the magnanimous potential to be of service now and in their career choices. Corporal Thorne's legacy endures the test of time because our students strive to uphold the priceless values of pride, integrity, respect, determination, and excellence. We are one community united in honoring the past and present women and men of our armed forces. Let us be keenly aware of the American spirit that flows through the veins and lives in our hearts.